We're gonna try to merge this craft into ours. If it's only connected, if I color everything a one solid color, is that gonna be a problem? No. Okay, perfect. That worked out okay. And we could keep a lot of this as well. But how far can we back it up into? Not too far because we have up to here. Oh, what is going on? What is that? A kamikaze drone. Um, that's how auto canning shooting it, right? Probably not going to be able to shoot it, though, because it's, well, in the sh shield here. I hope that's the case. I don't even know where it's going. It's trying to crash into me, probably. Shoot it a little bit. Oh, you got into the shields? You got some weapons. Ooh. It's trying to hide in here for some reason. Shooting the the warhead piece and it's, nothing's happening. Just want to kick it out a little bit. The warhead right there. Guess the warhead just doesn't fire or blow up. If that's the case, then I'm just gonna <laughs> do this to you. Should get that out of the way <laughs> and get rid of the interruption there. Okay, so if I merge in here, I think we should be okay as long as we take off a few things like this thruster, the artillery, or assault cannon. Again, how far can we back it up to? That's another problem. It's not too far back because we have this wall of things here. So it looks like if we were to back it up and cut up more pieces, we should be okay. Hmm. We should probably get it up a little bit more, I think, right? So let's just say up, 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 up like that. That should be good to go in, right? We go in this way. Yeah, that could kind of work. But again, we can't go too far back, though. That's the problem. So I can get up to maybe cut this off, right? And that's about it. And, well, actually, no. We could go a little deeper, but not by much. We could create a bit of a cushion and not get right into the wall here, but as far as we can go, it's right over here. Because on the other side is basically what we're keeping. So we could technically go in this way a little bit more. Not a problem. But how bad, how bad would it be to connect? So let's just get more of this out of the way for now. Oop, that's going to fly out. Let's just be sure that doesn't happen. Alright, I'm trying to keep one block separation between the other wall for now. Doesn't have to be that way, but I just want to keep it separated just a tiny bit. Just in case things don't turn out the way they should. Alright, we're going to keep this separation right here. Just in case. Um... Like there. And, well, we could put that together. 
Here, let's just separate that for now while we get to the hangar over here. So we get back into it and merge somewhere along the lines of inside there. Um, it looks like we could, again, knock out all this and keep the bottom. I think that would be a decent idea. But then again, we do also need to... We also need to break down a lot of the stuff out here as well. So we might actually have to reduce one hydrogen tank too. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> okay, that is going to flip out also. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, I was coming and didn't do anything about it. Whatever. Alright, so now we open it up as much as that. So it's not as much as you think we can get opened up. So that's the problem. So now we can just back into it, which is great. But all this here needs to kind of go. Yeah, so that's not great. It's going to be a bit of a trouble, troubling thing to do. I don't know if building repairs far enough to take these out if I can't get them to take out. At least all the thrusters here. Oh, okay, it works. So these thrusters need to go. So we get back into it. Only about you shift, how far is it gonna color? Okay, that's not that bad. Yes, yeah, so you can't as you see, we can't really back it up too too much. Which is unfortunate. It would be nicer if we could back it up a lot more. So we could have it like, you know, half this, half that. We could do, put it towards the bottom, but no. I really wanted to get it closer, a lot closer, to this here. And these wing systems, I think it's in the clear a little bit. We just got to get rid of some of this stuff. We got to re rebuild it a little bit. All right, getting rid of this half of it. It's not even half. It's a little less than half. Could be okay. I think, again, I really want to get it really, really close to... Probably up to here. Leave a little bit of an entryway because this is my secret entrance for a cockpit. I think we get it. I think we should do it up to maybe over here. We'll leave the projector out if we can. Actually, no. Wait. Oh, let's see. If we get it in, we probably let's cut it. Let's cut it here, right here. I think if we cut it here. That would be a good idea. All right, we need to turn off projection. Yeah, we cut it here. I think we should be in a pretty decent shape. Well, at least I wouldn't be mad about that. <laughs> we do lose some weapons, but it's fine because we're going to get the weapons moved out anyways and onto the bigger ship. We also need to reinforce it, which is going to be another problem. Not another problem, a lot of time to do. So if we're getting rid of this, we could just do a helping hand here. Let's just um, turn it off. Grab the ammo out of it. And remove it. I swore I just grabbed the ammo out of it, but it didn't. <laughs> um, if we're going to cut it here, then that is fine. Whatever this is, which is probably, yeah, speed module for the assembler over there. So there's also that. We got to rebuild and everything like that. Although we don't need a refinery on the ship anymore, actually. We have a base. So we get rid of that. We can store anything we find. But we do need an assembler. Assembler is more important than a refinery in a ship. So the refinery could definitely go. But I don't know what's underneath us right here. It could be the jump drive. Because I think the refinery was connected to the ship first before we did a jump drive so that's why we gotta reconfigure everything and i would think that is the case here's the jump drive and there's just some hydrogen tanks here which i'm okay with removing some of the hydrogen tanks as well Ooh, okay maybe a bad idea to re use build and repair to remove stuff because <laughs> it's gonna try to grab the wrong pieces 
first, and the whole thing might fly away. I hope not, though. Yeah, so we could lose this whole entire piece if it cuts that first. So we might want to not cut this piece first if we can stop it from doing that. Alright, it's not listening to me whatsoever. So I'm going to have to reinforce this a little bit if we can. I don't know why I can't put something there. Alright, we're just going to reinforce it like that for now. Because I'm afraid it's going to tear it apart in the wrong way around. And it looks like it's about to do that. This I could have lost this whole piece right here. Which is a whole bunch of mats. Which would have been terrible. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> if you look at that, it's being held by what I just put here. So that's not good. Alright, that just disappeared on us. We can take out this piece. Yeah, I'm not liking the way it's reacting. Um, with this piece here. Uh, if I take this out, it should be okay. I think. There's no order of um, removing it. We should have done it one by one. I was with the with the coloring. Oop, we just lost mats. That's not good. <laughs> so we should have just did this one by one, removing these pieces. And hopefully it doesn't remove the piece that is holding up the rest of these. I hear it doing things, so let's just hope that's not the case. I turn around and it's all gone. <laughs> it says a lot of mats and resources here if it just goes away or flies away. So we just gotta be careful that we don't lose too much. I mean, it's okay we lose some. As long as we don't lose too much, we should be okay. At this point, inventory full. Leaving the mats out. Nuts. Yeah, I think. Ooh, okay, there goes everything that we needed. That was what I was afraid of. <laughs> so there goes that. I don't even know where those pieces fly to. Okay, we're not doing that again. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so... We still need to get up to here. So we gotta get rid of... This one as well. And almost forgot about the rockets again. Not rockets, the uh, uh, shells. So this is not too bad here. A lot of conveyors, which is similar to this, which is a really bad idea. But it was covered up, so it was okay. What should we do? We Well, we need to reposition this if we can. <laughs> a bit. So we'll just... Oop, not that way. This way. Back up a little bit. Where are we? We're very off. The whole thing kind of went crazy because something uh, was torn out. So it should be like that, I think. Yes. So it should go in like that. So it will go in fairly decently this way. But again, we want to get in a little bit more. So we need to get rid of this one as well. Okay, there's the shell. Perfect. Okay, so we need to chop off this whole piece. And then we'll throw in the rest of the ship. So this goes away, which is unfortunate. I did like that design. Um, we could add it towards the bottom elsewhere. No big deal. But I think that's it, right? We just get in here. Yeah. Um, most of this could actually fit in there too. So it's not that bad. So how many blocks are we here? We're one, two, three, four potentially. And from here, we're one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like if we just cut down one or two more, we should be okay. 
if we're planning to go that route. Like if we cut this two out and then then go all the way in, or should we even go further, right? We could probably go in a little bit further, to be honest. But then again, this piece. I'm not sure how bad this is going to be once we get in there. So let's just cut down two more layers first. And let's just get the help of building repair, but on the more better way of doing it. Oh, that was not the better way. We gotta, we gotta really specify what we want to remove first, if anything. Uh, we might actually be able to keep that there, to be honest. That's not too bad. Ooh, we got hydrogens right over there, too. Hmm. That's a little bit dangerous, because if we crash it, they could buy to a ton of hydrogen and a lot of blocks as well. And these hydrogen came from the old ship, or the ship that we merged into at one point in time for the shell. That looks like it's going to fall into it, so... Okay, we got to be careful here. Oop. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Um, okay, so it looks like we can't get this part in because the hydrogen tanks are here. But we might be okay to do it like this anyways. We might have enough space to do it. What's great also is that there's ports here. So we can connect the ports somehow into it as well. It kind of works out. So here's the end of the ship and we're going to back up into it and fit it. And it's a perfect fit. So that might be a little scary when it comes to <laughs> fitting it here, right? I guess we did count exactly nine, so that was a problem. Let's make it a block off so we don't break every single thing that we have. And it's more or less the sides more than anything else and maybe even over here. Let's just open this up just in case. Okay, now we gotta strategically merge it somehow. We could easily back it up into it, but we gotta merge the whole entire thing. So, it looks like we could do, hmm, we're block away. This could be a merge block here. Yeah, I think we do that. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna fit in this section, but it looks like, looks like it might be here. Potentially. Potentially this is where the merge block is. Right? Kind of looks like it. I could be wrong though. Alright, merging it here. Oof. Okay, I'm a little worried about that. That might be some damage to be made there. So let's just do one block away just in case. Which wouldn't be too, too bad. I mean... Closer might be better, right? But it, it's going to be a little bit rough. Actually, you know what? If we want to get close, we don't use that. We could use probably this here instead. And of course, there's a gyroscope there. But all right, I'm okay risking that a little bit more than the hydrogens at this point. Where's my merge blocks? I don't have it anywhere. No, I don't. Okay, merge block hit me here. And I guess it would be one of these blocks here. Would be a nice little merge spot, but I don't know for sure just yet. So if we were to, let's see if we could just get this thing even backed up into here carefully. No, we're backing up here. This is like super dangerous. Look how close we are from the walls. All right, that's just my own fault. Me, I need to find a, a better viewpoint here <laughs> for this operation. Okay, I think this will work okay. We might have to go up and pitch a bit. All right, let's back up slowly. We need to pitch a little bit more. Let's go down. Here we go. I think, I think that's good. 
Yeah, it's got a lot of space now to kind of go in. We still need to pitch it down a little bit, I guess. And if we are going to connect the merge block right there. We are, how many blocks is this? One, two, and third. One, two, and third would be here. Which kind of aligns. Which works out okay. Now we're one block off. We could put pipings on here. Okay, that kind of works. That definitely works, actually. So let's put a merge block right here. And now we just hope for the best that we're not going to clang out. And break everything once we merge into that block. Which is what I'm really, really worried about. Especially with our hydrogen tanks. Because it might hit this. Okay, if that's the case, <laughs> we do this. I think we should be okay. Hopefully. So, if I'm worried, I'll probably just dismantle a little bit more right here. Keep the merge block where it is. So, we could do that if we're worried about the tanks. Yeah, I think we should be good there. Okay, so this might be a decent view here. Uh, it looks like we do need to pitch it down a little bit more. Maybe even drop down. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. We have some hydrogens that we need to get rid of as well. Hydrogen tanks, that is. Or thrusters. Because... Okay. Because they're indoors. But we, can, we could put a hole if we need to. Now, in terms of everything else... Actually, this is not bad. It's not touching anything or it shouldn't burn anything down well this side is probably destroyed that's why it's looking like that but this side doesn't look like it's going to be in any issues we do need to turn this thing a little bit as well which is this direction and then we just go in and it'll plug in this turret might be in the way right no we're a block away so no it shouldn't be away in the way all right moment of truth Time to connect. All right. We got to... Oop. We're going the wrong way. Pitch up or down a little bit. And we just slowly back into the merge. And we're in. The good news is that nothing broke because we're in the shield and, and doing this. I think. <laughs> but I do hear a lot of clanging noises, which is cr crazy. But there you go. We merged the ship together. And that is looking fairly decent. I think if we get it even closer, it would definitely look a lot better. So nothing here is in the way of this, is it? It kind of is, but it's just the exterior pieces here. So that's not terrible. Right? Let's see, right here, if we were to go this way. Yeah, it's going to burn this down, if anything. So we just open this up, and then we should be okay anyways. Well, not for certain if that is the right direction, but it probably is. Actually, it might be one up right over here. So instead of doing this, we, we could do it up here, the same design. And that should work okay. Yeah, I think really it's just going to burn this thing down more than anything else. Right over here. We'll just cut it down for now. Let me just cut it down for now on both sides. All right, it's looking decent. It's not that bad. It probably flies pretty good too. Because it's got all the thrusters and everything like that. We do we do need to connect these temporarily as well. So let's do that. Um that's all up here. Where none of this is connected currently, so we gotta find a way to do this. A little bit better. Um, the connections could be going this way. It could be going this way. And actually, let me open this up really quick. So easy to access. We don't need a door here. Or do we? Um, probably not for now. It's fine.
Okay, so in terms of being able to walk and travel back into here, we do need to hollow out. We, we said we're going to hollow out right down here. So if we walk through here, we end up on this welder. So we need to get rid of this welder. And then we end up in this conveyor junction and then the hydrogen tanks. So that is a bit of a bummer. But we could go down here and then walk through this way. Um, but we have to get rid of this conveyor junctions too. So that doesn't work out. But we could move, we could move things around. We don't need those thrusters there for, for certain. So it's also that. And then here, look at this. We just connect it right there <laughs> for that connector. And also... We could connect the hydrogen tanks here as well. That means we just got to put a junction here and a junction here for now. And that will just give us that connection. But in terms of walking through here, we could get rid of certain things as well. Yeah, so we can walk here. So we get rid of this and this. And all these. Right, we have a welder here, so that's interesting. So basically, we're going to have a stairway coming down from here. Once we get rid of that battery over here, I think that's going to be it. We're going to have a passageway going this way. We're going to go down one step here and right in here. So the thrusters that are right in the middle, we can just get rid of. We don't need it. It's only about two. So it's not significant. Yeah, it's not significant to us. I think that'll work. Now, do you want this a little bit more closer is another question. If we do that, we have to move the hydrogen tanks. Moving the hydrogen tanks, probably not the most feasible thing right this moment. So maybe we just leave it as that. Yeah, we could leave it for now. And then here, we build it out, right? So we got to get rid of this Gatlin here. And we actually have a nice little walkway <laughs> from here as well for some odd reason. But disconnect the No, everything's connected. All right, so we technically have a nice walkway through here and it could it could lead into this cockpit which actually does lead into the front as well huh maybe we do this instead we gotta move some of the gyros though but maybe we go through here and we gotta get rid of this instead of down there or that or the bottom could be another entryway but this could also be an entryway which works out because it follows the stairs here into this piece. So we could do that too. This That kind of works out actually. We just got to get rid of some of these gyroscopes in order to really make that happen. And even the oxygen. Um, or the oxygen tanks here. So right here, we're already in the ship. So yeah, this could kind of work. Although we do need these gyros in here. We could place them elsewhere. All right, this actually is looking pretty good. Let's do this instead of bringing a battery and going underneath. Um, so I guess we got to plug everything back up, if anything. That we messed up on the bottom. So we use these stairs right over here like this. I think that'll work. So we have two sides of it, right? And... This side right here, and that would do it. Don't need two sides, but I mean, it works out a little bit better. We put, we could put a catwalk here just to match it up a little bit better. Where's the catwalks? Catwalks right here. Then we could do this. Or do we do the double wall side of things? This one. We could do this. Right over here. And 
down, make it structurally sound. We do that. And then we go up the stairs this way. Like that. And then we head into in the, the back here. So we kind of lose out of the... Of the what's it may call it our a secret cockpit in this case but i mean i'm okay with that yeah I'd rather it be like this where we can walk through and everything and here we could put um mostly passages straight on through and then we could cover it if we need to cover it and it looks weird now but once we get this Kind of looking good. So it would be, let's just say for an example, um, with heavy armor, we just add it like this into it. Ooh, we have some ion thrusters that we might need to get rid of in this case, I think. Right? Yeah, these ion thrusters we probably want to remove because it's going to burn things down. Um, it looks like this thruster hasn't really burned this thing down, but we should probably move that one. That one's kind of in the way. But anyways, we were looking at doing the connection here, so we want to add this as an example. And I'm using heavy armor. That's fine. Really want to get it close to the ship like this. And... That's it right there. We want to do that. So this will add a little bit to the design of it. So it looks decent. We got to curve everything into it and everything like that as well. But I think that's for the next episode. We got to build it out a little bit better. But right now we got a nice connection point. This will hold it pretty steady. This can go away. And it could be. It also could have been the secret <laughs> cockpit as well. If we want, if we really, really wanted it to be. All right, we'll leave that as is. And looks like we did a little bit of a oopsie here. I don't even know what block this should be. It, it's got to be... Right now, I have it as a slow... Eh, we'll leave it for now. We'll, we'll build it out a little bit better later. But I think this should be okay. Again, I'm not sure why this keeps going off. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? <laughs> we said we were going to connect it, and we never did anyway. So, we need to find the connection point. Oop, of course. Of course, that happens. And now I can't really see where I am. Alright, do we have any of those kits? We have med kits or anything like that. We don't have... We have these power kits. That's what I was looking for. We don't have a medical kit, do we? And we don't. <laughs> That's... Interesting. We have a power kit. That's going to help us a little bit. Not too much. Just one, which is interesting. So how's this thing looking? Let's see. I'm actually liking it. I mean, if it merges in a little bit more, probably liking a little bit more. And I feel like if it was in a little bit more and then... A little higher right so we should have made it a little bit lower potentially but then it, it wouldn't fit too well we could design it around design around it so it's not gonna be a big deal i think because that's squared out right there that's what's making it a little bit off but we could design around it no problem but it's looking pretty good i like i actually like this it, i mean if you add color it would definitely make it look a lot better <laughs> Without color, it just like it looks really off. So if we were to add color, we could do like the blue ribbons right right over here, just to do it for now. And of course, we need we need more heavy armor around the whole entire ship, especially the hayflock piece of the ship. So we have that right there, and then we can mess around a little bit more with coloring. But right there, that looks decent, not bad at all. And I'm not sure what this is going to be, but we'll just do this as well. 
like so. And it looks like we need to add more to it. But yeah, there's a lot more to do here. And right in here, we could cover it up more. So we could add more stuff or better stuff. Or maybe even add a large iron thruster or something like that. Who knows? It's a good coverage there. We need a kind of... Well, everything looks aligned. Because this ship is as low as this ship, technically. Except this part, it just hangs out more down below, which is fine. But this ship is now looking like a completed, a more complete ship, actually. So, yeah, it's not looking too bad whatsoever. I don't know why this is not colored. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting there in terms of design. So that's great. But of course, we're going to have to do piece by piece design very relatively soon. But for now, this is as good as going to get temporarily. Because we're going to have to invest in a lot of time to really design it out a little bit better. All right. So before we go, let's just do what we were set out to do and <laughs> connect these thrusters so we know how to get power into them. So let's see. All the connection points are going to be here. Right? So how do we get it all connected? I don't know. Mm, we could do it. All right. We're going to have to do it this way, I think. So basically, let's get some mats first. Basically, one here, one here. These connectors are in an interesting spot. We'll put a conveyor here, conveyor here. So at least this thing could, this could be a T-shape, if anything. I think that works. Yeah, T-shape right in here. T-shape right in there. And we could connect directly into it like that. Or be on the safe side. Just be on the safe side. Although it's probably not going to make too much of a difference. Put a T here, T there, and pipe it from here, here, and here. So that looked decent. Back here, we need to change up anyways. We did shrink it, lowered it a little bit, unfortunately. So putting a ship in here might be a little bit more difficult than it seems now. At least we have the conveyor there, and... There is a conveyor here. I was hoping the, the batteries won't be in the wrong place, but it is. So we could put a piping probably through here. This would work. Right there. Yep, that would work. So we could put a junction. Give me a junction here. I think this whole wall should be junctions, right? It probably should be. Why not? And then we put the piping all the way up here. Um, yeah, we'll do it this way. We could put it a little higher if we wanted to, but then it will, it will be connected right over there and technically should have done this a little bit differently then. It's fine, because then we could also add air vents now, like this. So, little random designing, I guess, in this case. This whole catwalk, I might have to remove. Probably not, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, but we're going to connect this here. And down here. Perfect. So I'm going to do, we set a junction here first. Uh, did we do one junction or two junctions? I don't recall. We did two. And then we did a pipe system all the way up over here, which won't be able to put down. Right, there you go. And that should connect into the hydrogen tank. Okay, so this looks a little odd, so... Hmm. If we put a T-shape here, that would work as well instead. 
It looks like a nice little piping system. I guess we could do that. Yeah, I guess we can do that for now because it's just sticking out too much randomly. So it looks better this way. There we go. So that should power up the thrusters. And it looks like it is. Perfect. Yeah, it's all little micro pieces that we need to design out as well. So that is something we gotta look into. The catwalk is an interesting piece. It kind of works too. <laughs> in a way because we can still walk in here but it does take away from the inner spacing that I need for this station to be so there is a bit of a refinery in here we don't need a refinery so we could just get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of it there's a regular assembler in here so that's interesting and there's cargo containers here too which we could leave small cargo containers here. We still have the one that's outside technically, but we don't really need it as well, or we should probably put it uh, a large one somewhere, somewhere decent. Um, so that's hidden and protected and things like that. So it might even be in here, be hidden and protected. Where's this one pointing at? Right in the middle right here? Yeah, let's just um, let's just leave that open for now, so we could have the hydrogen just shoot out from there temporarily. But I think right here, well, this is the hydrogen tanks. We might not want to get rid of hydrogen tanks. So either we make this a little smaller or not, we could put in a large cargo container right over here in this vicinity. Yeah, even including down one here. So it could be like right down in this, it could be like this. Then I actually, mm, that gets it kind of exposed, but we could cover it up. So a large car container would be right here. And we could put in, and then we should be able to put in the assembly, assemblers and things like that. No problem, I guess. Or at least hidden somewhere. We already have an assembler. We even take out ours, so we don't need this, I think. Right? Yeah, we have an assembler, so we could get rid of this one. Oop. There was stuff in there. Fine. Okay. So we can just throw in... A large car container here. Hope this doesn't separate anything. No, we're, we're good. That was a little worrying. <laughs> So the car container is here. We got to move out into, I guess, the mush, if anything. All right, it looks like I can't move. Huh. I couldn't move stuff from one container into the base. Why was that? So it's not connected properly here. Okay. Something's missing. So... Yeah, of course. That's... No, these should be connected, right? There's ports all around, so it connects here to here. And it connects into here to here. Which should eventually lead to here. But we're not connected there. So that's the problem. We're connected here. <laughs> so where does that connect to? Let's see. What is that? What am I looking at? This is the hydrogen tank. And that connects here to there. Into there. And into here. Interesting how it's all connected. So that means this piece here should actually be a conveyor junction or piping of some sort. And now we should have the connection that we need it to be, I believe. Yep. Oh, well, that's what it was. We'll just throw everything in there. Do we need this? Potentially. Um, if I throw it in a large cargo in one more, would that be a problem? Not necessarily, but I think we could leave it like that. We should leave it like this, actually. Um, 
All right, let's get some power. If we want to put a large cargo container, it's going to be here for sure. So where's the cargo container? And we're probably going to use this one and not this one. Mm. Yeah, we need the connections on all four sides. So we'll grab... Oop, I think we, we didn't do this correctly. We're going to bring it out one right over here. I think that makes a little more sense. Then again, that's also is going to be losing out on space. So we might actually have to break it in here uh, a little bit. Ooh, that doesn't work out either. No, it could work out. All right, let's just do it right here. So if we connect it here, the problem becomes... No, those connect those ports are connected. That's fine. Actually, no, we have to do it this way. So the problem becomes this, right? So this needs to be a conveyor junction as well. Which is it's fine. Not a big deal. Hoping that wasn't gonna be needing the Well, I was hoping that wasn't gonna be the case, but that's fine. Alright, we'll put this one here. I feel like this one looks better, but we need the connection points, so let's just leave it as that. And it's one up there too. Yeah, it needs a connection point. So there we go. So it'll stick out by one instead of two. Um, blocks forward as we were thinking about it previously. So this works okay. And the, the air vent makes it look decent. Actually, no. Let's get rid of it. We don't need an air vent there. What is this? Uh, it's an O2H2 generator. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We'll just add this. All right, there we go. That looks a little odd. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is get rid of this. We're just going to go down like this to it. For now, we'll figure it out later. But yeah, this looks like a decent space for a ship. We just got to open this up. Put some hanging doors and everything like that, and we should be okay. Everything else that's exposed, we gotta figure that out. We gotta figure out this piece where... I guess we could put... Well, can't really put anything more. We could put a... Yeah, we could actually put another jump drive in here if we need to. Probably not there specifically. <laughs> it might be a terrible spot because of um the hydrogen tanks. Hmm. So no large reactor either. We don't have no space for it. So we got to figure out a better placement for a lot of things. In the meantime, let's just add in some passages really quick. Uh, how do we want to do the passages? Um, do we want the window and the lights? Yeah, let's do that. Light first. And where's the window one? Here's the window one. So we could do something like that, right? So basically... Light here, window here, one, two, three. We do light, and then one, two, three, and then there we go. So we put the light. Uh, we'll put the light one in here and here, and then we we'll just do this. And that should do it for now. And I think we have a pretty decent ship. Yeah, it's looking good for sure. So. Next up is kind of designing out the little details, getting most of the design back to what it's supposed to be, color it, and we, then we have a really, really big ship to play around with. And what is going on here? <laughs> that scared me for a second, but we are... Are we in the bubble? Yeah, we're pretty much in the bubble, so no worries there at all. I'll see you later, Corrupt, and I'll see you guys later as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to drop a comment down below just to say hi. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.